Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I am coming to you guys today. We are going to put together a men's Christmas basket. Um, I'm just gonna go right into it. But before we do that, if you could please hit the like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please consider cons subscribing. Um, but let's get right into this basket. So what we are placing in the basket, we are going to place this um, blanket. It's an UGG blanket. Hope you guys can see that. It's really soft inside. It's soft on, on the outside. Um, and I thought this was appropriate for a men's basket. So I, I love this blanket here. Um, we are also going to place in these pajamas. Um, they're by Club Room. It's a two piece, the long sleeve shirt with the um, with the the plaid black and white um, pants, the bottoms. Um, I thought this was cute. What I really, really, really like about this is it's already wrapped in ribbon. Awesome, just like the blanket, already wrapped in ribbon. I'm also going to use this this sheet set. Um, if you watch and follow my videos, um, I think it was maybe a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I scored at Dollar General on their blankets. Um, and this is one of those blanket sets I got and I paid a penny. I whispered that, but yeah, cost a penny. So we're going to use that. Since it's a men's basket, men, some men like peanuts. Um, and I thought this this bag of pistachios would go great in here, give them something to snack on. We are also going to go in with this blessed mug. I thought this was really, really cute. I liked it, I love these mugs. Um, it has little speckles on it. You can see how, but anyway, and it say bless right there. So we're gonna use this. We are also going to, inside the mug, we are, well, for the mug, we are going to use these stir, stirring spoons, chocolate stirring spoons. Um, it's got dark chocolate and milk and dark chocolate flavor. So I thought these were really, really cute. I like the pattern on there. Um, it has a reindeer, a gold reindeer. So keeping with that gold reindeer thing, I pulled out some ornaments. They are reindeer, gold reindeer. So I think that's, this together is going to look really nice. I'm also going to place in some Dove hand cream. I didn't want to use um, body wash. The basket is already going to be over the top for me um, in my price range. So I don't want to go above. Um, I don't want to put any more items in it that's unnecessary to increase the cost of the basket. So we're gonna put this in there. Um, and to go in the coffee mug, gotta have some coffee. I'm not sure if I wanna put a couple packs of hot chocolate in here or if I wanna put the um, Hershey's Cocoa Bomb in there. So I guess once I figure out and lay out everything, see how it goes, then I'll figure out where, if I want, which one I wanna use. So let me just start moving some things so you guys can see. Actually, I'll put this here, this here. Okay, and so the basket that we use, and since we are using, um, since this blanket is, is reasonably pricey, um, it's not too expensive. It was like $67. Um, I wanted to use a really nice basket. So I got this basket from Dollar General for $12. And I think it was buy one, get one free, something like that. So make it out to be $6. So this is a really nice basket. Only it's the, the, the woven weave basket. I think it's cute, black. Oh, I went in and I stuffed it already. And I put the packing paper in there. So we can just go in and start building it. Since it's not that many items, shouldn't take long. 
So we're gonna place this right in here, in the back. I'm gonna try to wedge it down. Okay. So I got that wedge down in there pretty good, pretty secure. And now I'm gonna go in with my pajamas. Sit that right in the middle. And I think I want the sheets to go right behind. Right behind that. And let's see, where's the cup? Okay. So I'm just placing my items. I think the cup, I want to I want to be able to see um the little UGG logo on the blanket. So I'm gonna try not to cover that up. But I do want my mug to go over here. And I want it to be seen. Okay. Um, dropping stuff already. Okay, so these pistachios, I think I'm gonna have to put these to the side. I'm gonna have to flat these out a little bit. Get them over to the side. Then again, I don't want them to go to the side. I want you to be able to see them. So I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I want to be able to see pistachios. So, so I'm just playing with the placement. I think I want my cup to go right here. I think it'll sit right here nicely, right there. And the dove, I think I want the dove to go here. Now I am going to be super careful not to, I don't want to put any tape on this blanket, none. Um, but I do want to secure this somewhere. I think I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, we're gonna place this Hershey stuff back. Cause like I said, I don't want to cover up the word UG. Okay, that's good right there. Um, I don't know if this Hershey's is doing too much. Uh, okay, I think I like that right there. Yeah, I like that right there too. I think I'm gonna glue that. The, um, actually I could just tape it tape straight across um, the dove to the front of the pajamas. That'll keep it there. Okay. And I think I want to put a glue dot right on the Hershey's, the bottom of the Hershey's, and have that stay where it needs it to stay. Put a couple of dots. Maybe I'll center that. Okay, I like that. So I will look guys, I think it's coming out good. Um, and the last thing I need to do is put the, oh no, that is not where that should go. I think I want this here. Or do I want this here? Get that Hershey's. I think I want this here. Okay. I mean, the Hershey's gonna have to go somewhere else. Um, so how would I get these? I'm right over here. How would I get these to stay? I need to pull this ribbon up a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, I want this to go right here. And then 
And I want the deer to go over here too. Um, whew, I might have pushed these down. Yeah. Okay. Because I want to give them something to sit on. So what they sitting on is the... They sitting on the um, sheets. So we put two, two deer in here. One on one side. Okay. So now I need to glue that these deck deer down. See how I'm gonna get it to stay. Uh, okay, that ain't going nowhere. All right, all right. Now I'll put another glue dot on this side to stick on this box. I probably should have secured the box down first. Just a couple of glue dots. I don't think it's gonna go nowhere. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, now that I got that. Now I'm gonna glue that at the bottom of this deer. Okay, right where it would touch what it's sitting on. And then right here. Right here, where it's gonna touch the um the spoons. Okay. So it can stay. Awesome. Straighten that out. Now this dove might not be able to go here. The, I'm going to put the dove right here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we are done. Okay, so uh, what do you guys think? So the next thing about um, that we're going to do to this basket is wrap it. Um, it's going to wrap. So I'm going to take this down, get my cellophane. This is the... 100 by 40 cellophane wrap you get from Michaels. Just a refresher. This is the brand. If you guys can see that, that's the brand. Okay. So I'm going to just push that down. This is a pretty large, ooh, I might not have enough. Good thing I got another roll down here. Let's see if we got enough. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put this right in the center. I don't think so. Wait, we might have enough. up just a little bit okay I'm still here yeah behind it. Okay. Uh-uh. I am totally not liking. Okay. I sure to say it. Looks like I'm gonna have to fold this side in and I'm just pulling up. Okay. I think it's gonna work. 
a little worried there for a minute. Let me just tie this off. Let me see how I look first. Okay. So I'm going to get some um, jute. Cut me a piece of jute. And just tie it off. Should have used the twist tie. It would have been faster. But it's okay. I'm going to tie this off. Or at least initiate the tie. Okay. I'm just loosening it up because since I'm being stingy with the cellar thing, um, it's taking me a little bit longer to wrap this. Because I just could have cut another piece off that over there, but. As long as I get a nice clean look, I'm good with it. So I'm just taping this here. I'm just gonna pull it. Do my other side. So the other side, because I didn't center it properly, um, the other side is not going all the way to the back, but that's okay. So I'm going to take this, tuck this in tight, and just pull it. Okay, now I can go in and do my side. Do the side first. I'm just straightening it out and taking a piece of tape. Catching my corner and going underneath. So that's how that side came up. And I'm just straightening this side out over here. Like it. I don't like the top though. I'm gonna Picking up. I don't like that. Oh. No. It wasn't long enough and I should have not continued. Can y'all tell I worked all day? <laughs> I went to my nine to five today. So, but I need to get this done because I have an order. One of my customers ordered four baskets, two little boy baskets, 
Um, which um, I hope they not. I hope she ain't watching this video, but please, please, no more theme baskets because the theme baskets. If I don't have the stuff in my stockpile after that Spider Man basket, mm -mm. if I don't have stuff in my stockpile, then I can't do it because it's not cost effective. Um, the items that are, if you don't have those items and you can't obtain those items that they want, like that um, Miles Morales little figure, it defeats the purpose. It defeats the purpose of trying to save you money. Um, you know, the customer money, it defeats the purpose. So, yeah. Um, I don't know, my thing best is I think I'm gonna have to charge a, at least $20 more, 30, I'm saying, you know, y'all know I got a soft spot in my heart for the kids, so my children's baskets are not super, super expensive. Um, my daughter was here from out of town, and one of her girlfriends came over, and she she saw the little girl's basket. By the way, yeah, my customer um, doesn't want the grandkids to see the baskets, so I'm just storing the baskets here. But we talked today, and I told her, you gotta go get the baskets. They kind of like really big. And in the way, I got baskets in my living room. Um, but yeah, she said she was gonna come and get them. She said her, her son had a, a truck, so he can come and get it. Um, but yeah, them theme baskets, I don't know how y'all do them. Cause um, I don't know if I'm gonna do, ever do another theme basket. At least a order theme basket with a particular item. Um, again, so we're gonna leave that right there. Pull that one up. Make sure it's centered. Yep. And just pull this to the front. Pull this to the back, rather. Make sure I got the same amount of width on this side as this side so that I don't have the same problem I did the first time I tried to wrap it. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit, just so I can have some play in the top of it. Okay. And now I'm gonna bring this up. So now you guys saw how not to wrap a basket this size <laughs> and how to wrap a basket this size. So you're gonna come up, you're gonna always give yourself a little bit of play. Give yourself a little bit of play. You're gonna try to measure that with that part. Then cut across. I think these is the good scissors, y'all. Yeah, I think these are the good scissors. You know, it just ain't gonna work over my head. Um, but I'm just cutting this other thing. Now this other thing, real, real rip if you use those, um, if you use um, raggedy scissors that got notches in them. And we're gonna make this even easier. I'm gonna put a zip tie on here. I'm just grabbing it out, the thing over there. Straightening everything out. And starting all over. Starting all over. Oh, well, this shouldn't take long though. This is the large item. Gotta come this way. And then come this way. This way.
And I got my zip tie on here. Okay. So I think, yeah, so I think this is much better. Much, much better. Much better. Oh, this is so cl much cleaner. I can just tell the difference already by me not trying to force that cellophane. I did myself a favor. It looks it looks really, really nice. I like it. I like it. So you see here. So I'm just tucking it in some and just gonna fold it under. I got my little piece of tape. I'm just gonna fold it under. Yeah, it's so much easier to work with. I'm not taping 50 parts of the basket. I only use one piece of tape so far. And I'm doing my other end, my other side. Yeah, it's much better. Cleaner, crisper. Look. So before I pull the twist eye all the way, I'm going in and just straightening this out. Pulling it straight up. Sorry about the noise, guys. Let me see. Yes, I like it. I'm just straight, straightening out my creases. And I think I love it. I'm in love with this. This is pretty. Oh, I like it. Yes. So, even without the Ugg break, uh, blanket in here, it still would be a really, really nice basket. Y'all see that? Even without the blanket, it's still a really nice blanket. I mean, basket. It's really nice. Okay, guys, so let's go in and make the bow. This is nice. Okay, so, the bow. We have different ki kinds of ribbon. We have this ribbon. This was a, this is a velvet ribbon. It's black. The basket is black and gray. This is a velvet ribbon. Um, it gives me that male feel. And this came from, I want to say Michael's. Um, and it was, did it come from Michael's? Yeah, it came from Michael's. It was um one of their Halloween ribbons that was, I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot what the percentage was off of the Halloween stuff, but it was probably like a dollar or two, maybe a dollar. Um, But this is pretty ribbon. And we don't use that. But I was thinking I wanted to use this because the basket itself has the pajama pants that has this pattern. Um, the plaid black and white, or I can use this one. This one came from Michael's too. And this is the stripe, it's gray and white on top of here. And I did pull this one, I don't think I'm gonna use that one. Um, now this, this ribbon would definitely match those pants. This ribbon will make it stand out. Um, on here um but this ribbon i probably need to get rid of this is Chris, christmas ribbon um guess my better judgment <clears throat> i think i want to see what this gonna look like so i think we should put, pick the basket back up That's pretty. That's pretty. That's prettier. This is more classy to me. Even though I could probably get away with all three, y'all. I'm so sorry I'm so indecisive right now. I could get away with all three of them. This one, this right here, this right here, this is your money. This looks nice, but it's not my money. That, that one don't say money. 
I mean, I've listened to other people's words. <laughs> that one right there just don't give it what I want. Give me the feel I want. Tell me in the comments um, what word would you guys use besides money. That, that ribbon don't give me that feel. So, so I probably, so the design of the ribbon I'm doing today, I'm going to take and make strips. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to take about 12, well, no, I don't know how many inches that is, about 14. And I'm going to make, these are the bad scissors, by the way. I'm going to make. Forties. It's gonna be a lot of ribbon on this basket, but this basket is um, worth all the ribbon that I put on it. So, got two of those. I might be able to get away with some of that other ribbon too. I think I might. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. So y'all just working with me. Stick with me, guys. Stick with me. Y'all gonna want to see the finishing part product. So we got four of those velvets. Remember that. Remember this only cost about a buck. So I just used a quarter's worth. Um, these were by one get three free. Okay, so I'm gonna get the same length here. Cut it. It ain't got to be exact, exact, exact same length, but you want to get it close to the same length as, you know, have them all the same length. And I keep putting back my guy. So I got four of these. I might be able to get a couple of those in there. I think I'm going to put two in there. Two of those other ones. But those are really, really big. That that um <clears throat> excuse me guys. That this plaid ribbon is wide. It's wider than this. So it would have to sit in the back. It's wider. So it would have to sit in the behind all these other ribbons. So maybe we shouldn't use that. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these over. Like this, even, slant it, make my ducktail, make a ducktail. You're gonna do that with all eight pieces. You got four of one pattern, four of another pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I wanted to do one more basket, one more men's basket, um, using the pajamas. <sighs> I might have to say that for another day because I think this video is getting longer than it should be. We shall see. But then again, I did um, set up the other basket so I could just bring it in here and just wrap it. But it ain't finished. Um, yeah. So I'm almost done. So as you see, I'm just cut duct tape on them. I think that it's gonna look really, really nice when it's done. Oh, I am so excited! Y'all, it don't take much, but. To get me excited, huh? A basket. But this basket is pretty. This basket is nice. Make two of the fail. So this basket is a little more te I mean this um bow is a little more tedious than the other ones. The other styles I do. For sure. But it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So if you haven't tried these bows yet, um, making it with the strips like this, you'll see it. When you try it, you'll be like, yeah, it was worth it. So. Okay. So 
to toss this and I'm going to grab a Chanel stick um, or how I call it, what I call it, a pipe cleaner. Sorry, guys. I wasn't prepared for with the pipe cleaner. Okay, I got one. Good thing I still got, um, I still have my, um, these might not be big enough. I still have some of my supplies down here. So, we're going to take these, stack them on top of each other. We got them all even. And, okay. So, I think you can actually alternate. There's a couple ways you can do this, folks. Let me just stop. Pay attention to what I'm doing. So it's a couple ways you can do this bow. I've seen this bow did a couple of different ways. A um, couple of different ways. You can take your strips that you cut and you can... Okay. And you, what would you would do is you will alternate. You go this pattern, this pattern. Right? That's one way you can do it right or you can do it like this it gives it a different effect a different look you could take the ducktails down this pattern take the ducktails up this pattern take the ducktails down next one up so basically all the blacks are going down and all the stripe is going up. Stripe goes up, the ducktails go up. So now I'll make these even, or at least try to get them as even as I can. So I'm gonna have to break, these are pretty thick. I can't cut through all of these. So I'm gonna have to take four at a time. Well, yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Fold those in the center. And I'm still, you can twist it. I'm not doing it. I'm cutting straight through. I'll show you what I mean by twist it. Well, no, I won't. It's not going to take too long. This video already long enough. So I'm cutting not all the way through. Just enough that when I make my bow, tie off my bow, I'm able to maneuver, twist the bow to go whatever way I want it to go. So I'm going to take these, fold these over. This should be a whole separate video, y'all. Because this is, this is probably going to take 10 minutes of my time just to show y'all. I mean, y'all time just to watch me make this bow. Um, but here we go. Cut through. Not all the way across. Just enough to cut through the, the wire. Same thing to the other side. Okay. Now I can stack them back. Okay. Now I'm taking my pipe cleaner and I'm going to go through the slits that I made. I do have a new camera um, and a new tripod for the new camera. Um, I ordered a real camera, not a phone, to make my videos. Hopefully I get better angles and you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. This would be a perfect time for you to see what I'm doing. So now I'm just actually going to pull as tight as I can on this, this here. Twist it off. Now I'm going to place it on the basket. Let me see how many minutes we got into here. Oh, we got 40 minutes into this basket. Oh. Okay, guys, let me hurry up. You guys, uh, 
sorry about that, but here we go. So I'm twisting this on here. Yeah, I think this is all cooked. But let me pull it out so you guys can see. I'm gonna turn it towards me just for the sake of the video, the timing, because we is we are getting 40 minutes. Already, so you're just fucking your bow out, separating the tails you have, just making them go all different kind of directions, but fluffing out your loops as you pull these tails. Yeah, this is this is nice. I love the effect that I'm getting um, from the stripes instead of just going in with the flat one. This is nice. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Sorry I can't see what I'm doing. And just straighten it out as I'm going. The sides, that's turned to the back, just turn them right the right way. You're able to do that because of the slits you made on the pattern ribbon. Okay, I love it. Okay, guys. Um, so I will go back in and fluff this out, fix this up together later. I'll do a short on the video. But I think it came out nice. I think it looks very cute. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Okay, guys, I'm gonna um, end this video. This video shouldn't have took this long. I apologize, y'all. But um, I hope you guys stay this far in the video um, to just watch me make the, back, the bow. But um, okay, guys, stay up, stay up, stay blessed, guys. Have a good one.